Hello and welcome to today's video on plant cells and water. Let's get going. So, uh, water enters the plant cell via osmosis. Um, osmosis is the water mov movement from a high water potential to a lower water potential. We say that zero is pure water and that is the highest water potential you can get. And then the more negative the water potential, the lower the water potential. So, if we were moving from zero pure water outside the plant cell in, into the inside of the plant cell where there's already ions and salts kind of mixed in the works, that would be minus 500 or it could be anything else, it could be minus 600, whatever. But basically, the water would move from zero to minus 500 because minus 500 is a lower water potential. And that's all you really need to know about osmosis for now. We'll go in more detail over it uh, in a later video because it's earlier on in this unit, but I just wanted to get plants out of the way. So, there are three pathways that scientists reckon um, water travels through the cells into the xylem. The first one is the uh, apoplast pathway. Basically, the cellulose cell walls have many water-filled spaces between the cellulose molecules. Water can move through these spaces and between the cells in this pathway, the apoplast pathway. The water does not pass through any plasma membranes. This means that dissolved mineral ions and salts can be carried with the water. So basically, um, I'll just show you, it goes through these little blue tracks here and through here. And then at the Casparian strip, it's diverted, and it then follows that pathway, which is the Simplast pathway. We'll learn more about the Casparian strip in the next video, um, but let's move on to the Simplast pathway. So we've done that one, and now we're going to do this one. So the Simplast pathway uh, means that water ent enters the cell cytoplasm through the plasma membrane. It can then pass through the plasmodesmata which are these things here and here, from one cell to the next. The plasma desmata are gaps in the cells, cell walls that contain a thin strand of cytoplasm. Therefore, the cytoplasm of adjacent cells is linked. Once inside the cytoplasm, water can move through the continuous cytoplasm from cell to cell. So it's just this here and into the xylem. And then the last pathway that uh, wasn't shown in this diagram, but is just as much as a pathway as any other pathway, is the vacuolar pathway. And this just means um, it is it's kind of just similar to the simplest pathway, but the water is not confined to the cell cytoplasm. Um, it can is it's able to enter and pass through the vacuoles as well. So if there is vacuoles. Uh, here and here in the plant cell, like we know there's always a large permanent vacuole, it could enter through these vacuoles uh, and into the xylem. And that's all you really need to know for plant cells and water for now. Thanks for watching.